Hi everyone! Today, we are going to learn about time taken in minutes along with its word problems. Are you ready? As we've learned previously, a clock has two hands. The short hand is the hour hand, and the long hand is the minute hand. Let's review telling time. Write down the times shown on the clocks. Pause this video if you need extra time. So it is 6.45 on the first clock. Second clock reads 3 o'clock. And the third reads 8.10. Now that we're confident in telling time, let's move on to the next slide and learn about time taken. Time taken is the amount of time that has passed from beginning to end. Let's jump straight to the first example of time taken work problem. Isham and his family went to Aman Hill Cineplex. The movie trailers began at 4.10 and ended at 4.35. How long did the trailers last? What we're doing here is we're trying to figure out the time taken from 4.10 to 435. One way is to skip on a number line. Another way, which we did last week, we can also skip using a clock. We can also subtract, but we won't be using subtraction very much this year because it can get a little bit complicated with the minutes because we don't borrow like you do when you're subtracting regular numbers. So the main strategies that we're going to use are the number line and the clock. Let's do the number line first. We're going to skip on a number line by using whatever number is easiest for us to count by. So if I'm starting at 410, because the trailers began playing at 410, and I jump 10 minutes, then what would my new time be? My new time would be 420. So let's write the new time as I'm skipping, and I'm gonna keep skipping until I get to my end time, which is 435. Next, I'm gonna jump 10 more minutes, if I jump 10 minutes, my new time is going to be 4.30. I'm still not at 4.35 yet, so I have to skip again. But now, instead of jumping 10 minutes, I have to just go by 5. Because there's only 5 minutes left to get to 4.35. So now we can stop our jumps and our skipping the number line. To figure out how long the trailers last, remember? That's our question. How long did the trailers last? To figure that out, we go up here and add all these times that we skip by. So that would be 10 plus 10, which is 20. 20 plus 5, 25. The trailers lasted for 25 minutes. That is one strategy for finding the time taken. Let's look at example 2. Rasida started eating her lunch at 11.15. She finished eating at 11.30. How long did it take Rasida to eat her lunch? The first thing that we need to do is to determine what the question is asking us to solve. In this case, we need to solve how much time Rasida spent eating her lunch, the time taken, from 11.15 to 11.30. So 11.15 will go at the beginning of the number line and we're going to skip by whatever is easiest for us until we get to 11.30. I'm going to jump 5 minutes first, so the new time will be 11.15 plus 5 minutes, 11.20. We have to keep jumping because we need to get to 11.30. So what should I skip by next to get to 11.30? If you are thinking 10 minutes, then you are correct. 11.20 plus 10 minutes will give us 11.30. So now I need to figure out how much time I jumped by in total. So 5 plus 10 would be 15 minutes. It took Rasida 15 minutes to eat her lunch. That is one strategy for finding time taken. How would you do that on a clock? Using a clock, you know you have to skip by 5 because there are 5 minutes in between each of these numbers on the clocks. James left basketball practice at 4.50. He rides his bike to Rano's house and arrives at 5 o'clock. 
How long did it take him to get there? The first thing that we need to do is to determine what the question is asking us to solve. In this case, we need to solve how much time it took James to get to Rano's house. The next thing we need to do is to show the starting and ending times on the clocks. The start time is 4.50. Let's display that on the first clock. The ending time is 5 o'clock. Let's show that time on the second clock. The hour hand is pointing to the 5 and the minute hand, 00, zero is pointing to the 12. So if you look at the minute hand, it has traveled from 10 to 12. In order to know the minutes that passed, we need to count by fives, because in between each of these is five minutes. We can circle the 10 here to remind ourselves that we started there, and it ended on the 12. So I want to skip around the clock until I get to 5 o'clock. Know that when the minute hand gets to 12, that's when we are going to get a new hour. So right here at the 12, is where we're going to stop skip counting because that's when it's going to change to 5 o'clock. Now we're going to skip by 5 from here at the starting time. Let's try it. 5, 10. So the answer is it took James 10 minutes to get to Rano's house. Let's see our next example. Find the time taken from 8.20 to 9 o'clock. So the starting time is 8.20 and the end time is 9 o'clock and we want to figure out how much time is in between those two. Let's show the start time on the first clock. The hour hand is pointing to the A and for 20 minutes the minute hand is pointing to the 4. Now let's display 9 o'clock on the second clock. The hour hand is pointing to the 9 and if the minutes are 0, 0 then it's pointing to the 12. So I want to skip around the clock until I get to 9 o'clock. Know that when the minute hand gets to 12, that's when we are going to get a new hour. So right here at the 12 is when we're going to stop skip counting because that's when it's going to change to 9 o'clock. Now we're going to skip by 5 from here at the starting point. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So 40 minutes have passed between 8.20 to 9 o'clock. Which one do you find easier, the number line or the skip counting on the clock? Then we shall see one more example, but now we are going to do both the number line and the clock. Annalisa plays in a futsal game. Her game started at 4.15 and ended at 4.45. How long was the futsal game? Let's do the number line method first. So 4.15 will go at the beginning of the number line and we're going to skip by whatever is easiest for us until we get to 4.45. I'm going to jump 5 minutes first. So the new time will be 4.15 plus 5 minutes, 4.20. We have to keep jumping because we need to get to 4.45. So what should I skip by next to get to 4.30? 10 minutes. So 4.20 plus 10 minutes is 4.30. Let's jump another 10 minutes. That will give us 4.40. To get to 4.45, I'll need to jump 5 minutes more. So 4.40 plus 5 minutes will give me 4.45. So now I need to figure out how much time I jumped in total. So 5 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 is 30 minutes. The game lasted for 30 minutes. Now let's do the clock method. The start time is 4.15 and the end time is 4.45. So let's display the start time on the first clock. The hour hand points to the 4 and for 15 minutes, the long minute hand points to the 3. The end time is 4.45. So the hour hand is pointing still to the 4 and the minute hand points to 
the 9. Now, let's circle the 3 where we started and the 9 where it ended and skip by 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. The game lasted for 30 minutes, so either way, you still get the same answer. Next, we're going to see how to find the ending time when time taken is given. Find the ending time. The starting time is 10.40 and the time taken is 15 minutes to shower and 10 minutes to eat. So 10.40 will go at the beginning of the number line and we're going to skip by 15 minutes and 10 minutes. I'm going to jump 10 minutes first because that is easier. So 10.40 plus 10 minutes is 10.50. Now for the 15 minutes, I am going to jump 10 minutes first and then 5 minutes. You'll see why soon. So if I skip 10 minutes, 10.50 plus 10 minutes is 10.60. But remember, there is no 60 minutes on the clock. When it's 60 minutes, that is equivalent to 00, zero minutes. That means it has changed to the new hour, 11. So our new time is 11 o'clock. Now let's jump the last 5 minutes. 11 o'clock plus 5 minutes would be 11.05. So the ending time is 11.05. Now let's move on to our last word problem in finding ending time. Faris spent 30 minutes doing his homework. He started at 1.20 p.m. At what time did he finish his homework? So the starting time is 1.20. It's going to go at the beginning of the number line. Now let's jump 30 minutes, but if it's difficult, then we're going to jump 10, 10, 10 minutes. So let's first jump 10 minutes. 1.20 plus 10 minutes will give us 1.30. Now let's jump another 10 minutes. 1.30 plus 10 minutes will give us 1.40. And the last 10 minutes, 1.40 plus 10 minutes will give us 150. So the ending time is 150. At what time did he finish his homework? He finished his homework at 1.50 p.m. It's been great fun learning time taken in minutes and work problems with you. I'll see you next time.